This is WAOB News 10 at 5. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jim Wallace. And I'm Carla Heath Sands. A search for two men believed to have gone missing in the Flint River has ended for the day. Now, Monday, witnesses say 24 year old Cameron Jones never resurfaced after he jumped into the river. It's also been 18 days since 36 year old Darius Stevens was last seen in the Flint River area. It's believed that he fell into the river as he was collecting water samples, uh, excuse me, sewer samples in the water there. The search for him has now turned into a, a recovery operation. Well, WALB News 10's Lena Allen is live at the Flint River right now. And Lena, have you heard or learned anything about what the plan will be for tomorrow? Well, I have reached out to the city for tomorrow's search plan. They are currently working to get that to me, but my biggest questions are, will cadaver dogs be used again tomorrow? Will the dam be shut off again? And will divers be able to get back in the water to continue searching? Now, what we do know for certain at this point is that there's still no answers into the disappearance of the two men. Now, search efforts today were more aggressive with the help of drones, sonar devices, and cadaver dogs. Georgia Power also cut off the dam again today, which helps lower the water levels. We saw divers out earlier in the water as well. Even though there are two searches happening at the same time, officials say they're using all resources at their disposal, especially with Stevens search transitioning into a recovery operation. Search crews say they're continuing to cover a lot of ground as today's shore sweeps expanded to the lower Flint River area of Mitchell, Baker, and Decatur County. The initial area was about a four mile uh, radius uh, on, uh, on Monday for Mr. Cameron Jones. Uh, so the area out from the Ray Charles Plaza, uh, that area just below there out to about a four mile radius. Uh, now the efforts uh, that we've seen for Mr. Stevens uh, has been out a greater distance. There we've had, um, uh, we've had, uh, we've located and talked with our partners that are, that are down river from us. Uh, they've been out looking in their areas too, so the, the uh, so the search area has been extended greatly from that from that area. Now the family of Cameron Jones was out here today. I did speak with them. They didn't want to go on camera, but they did tell me they've been out here every day since the search started, just waiting for those answers. And we'll continue to bring you updates as the search is ongoing. Live in Albany, Lena Allen, WLB, your hometown news source. All right, thank you so much, Lena, for that update. And as we receive more information on these two men, we will make sure to keep you, our viewers, updated.